Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Myers Mega Fictional Musings. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, I just I just wanted to make a video about a few things, I suppose. Um, the primary focus being an attempt to express my gratitude and appreciation for again this this overall Bookstagram and Book Twitter community that I love, uh, but a specific individual who went out of their way to send a fellow booktuber or bookstagrammer some titles mailed them himself so rob uh lives in mesa arizona rob is a, a financial advisor i believe and he's a good dude so thanks rob for the books i i got the package which i thought was going to be you know a few books rob and i connected on twitter and had a brief back and forth as to a couple of titles and he, he told me he was going to send me some books and I was like wow man that's amazing thank you again thinking I would get just a few and the lady brought out the box yeah and it was big and I was like oh yes wow and I was super excited I called my son down Chase the box is here he's like yes I told him about it before and he's you know pretending to be excited with me and I, I cut into it like a kid at Christmas Rob I gotta tell you man I was honest to goodness filled with uh filled with joy and gratitude because some of the titles I got I am so excited to to read real quick here Rob included in this in this box two massive tomes that I am thrilled to get um Really, really good hardcover copies. Rob's a guy that takes care of his books, no doubt. Appreciate that, too. Uh, I got a hardcover copy of Europe Central by William Volman, and, and I've never read him, and I'm really, really excited to get that. Rob also included uh, The Pale King by David Foster Wallace. So that's, that's my second favorite novel of all time. Uh, I've read it three times. I own a copy as well. But it was so cool getting another copy uh, in the mail like that. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I don't, like, I'll probably push it on family and friends. Uh, who knows? But, uh, yeah, it was great. I mean, and, and there was a little note included saying, do what you want with these books. I hope I hope they work for you. And they do. Uh, he also included two other books that I've heard of in the community throughout the last few months. Uh, one's called I, Claudius <clears throat> by Robert Graves. Sounds like a really, really great historical fiction, uh, you know, highly regarded novel. And another one, I don't even want to try and remember the author's name, but it's called My Struggle. Uh, and I really have no clue what it's about. But it is also very uh, well received and, and supposed to be quite excellent. So those are two other ones he included. But the best part, uh, and, and again, just shows, just shows how thoughtful and kind... Uh, he is because he must have known that I, I liked obviously watch me the video on slaughterhouse five uh, my first vonnegut experience which i spoke very highly of and he included five more vonnegut novels uh cat's cradle among them which i will now which will be waiting for me uh to explore in the future some more kurt vonnegut which which i loved slaughterhouse five amazing stuff now you, whole other note here you come across people in life I'm sure I could speak for most people you just know people that are um, so so kind that it's you know there's no agenda there they just they just operate that way that's in their DNA the way they're built they put other people first and uh, you know there's a few people I think of at work some colleagues of mine that I would say you know just endless kindness and and they are positive and they just put other people first and I, I get a sense that Rob's one of these people so again many thanks um so going back to something else now the recognitions I am making my way through slowly but surely a few people in our group chat have have finished and um that's great other people are behind me other people are ahead of me but it's been in a word phenomenal <laughs> the reading of this book um 
yeah, and I'm uh, currently on part two, section two, and I went into work to read this morning. Came across a section, as I do often, that I just sat and marveled at and went back and, and had to reread it. And I've been scribbling up my my um, my copy with notes and, and whatever. I'm interacting with the text that way. But this particular part, um, gosh, it was amazing. It was It's a back and forth between Rectal Brown and his servant, Fuller, who for me, <coughs> excuse me, is emerging as one of my favorite characters in the recognitions. There hasn't been too much on him yet, but again, he is Rectal Brown's servant. Now, naturally, he would get a degree of sympathy from readers, you know, being the fact that he belongs to Rectal Brown. But they have an exchange that I just finished reading, and, and it was dialogue, and we all know how, how good Gaddis is with dialogue, and it was utterly riveting. I just get the sense that Fuller, you know, despite the fact that he... I don't want to spoil anything, but he he tries to escape his circumstances by, by getting a plane ticket um, and fleeing for home. But with that being said, he just seems to me to be a very, I guess, light-hearted, kind-hearted, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it just goes with the flow type of character who's actually pretty funny and he's just accepting and abiding um, and a kind soul or a gentle soul, I guess is the way I would put it. And... It, this section too it's a short little conversation I guess but it just had me thinking too about you know back when this was actually happening in our world these old white men with their servants slaves and you know they're doing things for them but there's also and, and hopefully you're still with me here but I tried to search up some information on this and I couldn't really find much but I believe there's I'm pretty sure there was a a longing for companionship amongst these like slave owners or rich people who had servants they wanted companionship and that's the sense I get in this scene with Rectal Brown and Fuller you have and I'm not saying Fuller you know by any means likes his life or, or, or enjoys his life or would do anything for Brown who's a piece of shit but there's this back and forth there and Fuller talks to him and then next thing you know um, rectal brown and they're engaged in a conversation and they they it's like i guess it's almost like he's looking he's thinking out loud and rectal brown sustains himself um by having fuller around if that makes any kind of sense people but that's kind of what i was thinking when i read this this part which was uh, i actually started planning a video to to do the reading itself I just, it doesn't sound very good. I didn't like it. So in a perfect world, I'd love to do, you know, just for fun, have one person be rectal brown, the other person be fuller and do a, a reading a back and forth and, and try and have fun with it that way. But yeah, so um, because I just, in my head, I'd love to hear or understand how other people hear that dialogue or how it goes in their head uh, for them, if that makes sense. So yeah, it really got me thinking. Just another great section from the recognitions there. Sounds like we're going to do a bit of a casual meetup. Some members of the uh, group read, which I'm psyched about. <clears throat> um, so that'll be fun. We'll try and dissect it a little bit more, the recognitions. Uh, and real quick, before I go, while I think of it, I'm pretty sure most people would do supplementary reading material, especially when we're talking about the big uh, postmodern tomes. Uh, when you've got these big challenging books, I know I for one like to have um, some secondary titles, uh, one or two books I'm reading that are lighter or easier or shorter or smaller, what have you. Um, and I'm not a big Audible fan, but I do have an Audible account um, that I'm paying for pretty much only because I do use it with my classroom, but uh, you get the free credit every month. And I, I have picked up years ago uh, The Mezzanine by Nicholson Baker. And I've talked about it before, you guys. <clears throat> this book, which I do plan on buying someday, is freaking hilarious. Beyond funny. I've taken to listening to it in my car. Whenever I'm driving around, going to work, going from work, picking up the kids, I, I put it on quickly on my phone and listen to it and just laugh out loud. The best way to describe it it's kind of like Seinfeld episode in that way. 
the narrative is just about the most, the most mundane little details of life. And I do think of Seinfeld and there's some parallels there. Um, like, for example, the whole book is about a guy's lunch break. He breaks his shoelace and he's going to purchase a new shoelace and he also purchases some milk and he talks about things like the manufacturing of shoelaces and the amount of pressure each lace gets and why it might break to the fact that we now there's a generation of people who never experienced milk being delivered uh, in jugs or whatever cartons and now we have these cardboard boxes and he talks about how it's so perfect having the triangular funnel that pours out the milk and he goes on and on with these digressions uh, and I can see myself for the rest of my life without exaggerating listening to the mezzanine on a loop in my car um, I've already done it uh, two or three times but uh, it's just hilarious stuff I highly recommend it if you're looking for some supplementary uh, reading material or if you have audible so a couple of other things I just forgot to mention um, this this morning uh, when I was reading I was struck by something it's like bordered on the mind-blowing now I, I don't know where everyone's at with with the recognitions group read but I'm about a third of the way in uh, as I said and and part one section two or, or part two section two or whatever and uh came across that that awesome dialogue bit but uh, then I got to thinking and I'm sure most people have realized this because it's quite prevalent William Gaddis will incorporate the word recognitions itself into the text and the concept and you will see that word itself uh, often actually to wonderful effect like his ability to do this uh, in so many different ways I was marveling at and so that's fantastic so uh, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but what happened to me was, now it's funny, I don't have my book with me right now, but in the Dalkey cover, the beautiful cover that I love, um, where there's a gentleman in front of the picture with a bull, right? And I did not know that that was William Gaddis. I tried to read the recognitions, you know, I think it was four or five years ago, I got about a fifth of the way in, and I, up until recently, I just thought that was some some random person posing as Wyatt in the in the photo and I come to learn that it's a young handsome William Gaddis himself on the front cover of the Dalkey edition of the recognitions and so I think to myself here is me recognizing William Gaddis on the cover of his own book and I was really struck by that so I just wanted to share that um yeah life's good I hope everything's going good with with you guys a uh, quick update, my buddies uh, uh, and brothers um, group book read that we do over Google Meet. We met on Saturday night there a couple nights ago. We had a blast, had a little bit too much to drink. Um, we're currently going to read The Gargoyle uh, by a Canadian author. Uh, I've shared a little bit about this book online, which no one knows about. The Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson. Phenomenal book. I'm excited for the boys to... Um, to read read that book and i'm going to try and fit in a reread at some point we'll see though um so i always enjoy that um i've got a book club with some colleagues at school who are all much younger women and uh they're sweethearts and so the one girl she she knows i, I like uh to read and she's like you want to join this book club with a few of my friends and a couple of two of the other teachers uh that work in my school join so it's me and uh six six girls women yeah and uh well there's there's another fellow that come has come in a couple times but he's very quiet <laughs> anyway we've we've read a book called when no one is watching uh i can't remember the the author it was fine it was good i mean i read it and enjoyed it and we had the, some pretty fun discussion about it but then we, we can't even remember the, the next one we did was oh gosh what was it um, but I didn't end up finishing it. It was a technological thriller, Demon or something like that. I couldn't get into it. I just tried to squeeze it on Audible and wasn't having it. So um, got about two thirds of the way through it. But I, I joined the chat nonetheless and it was a good time. <laughs> We're currently got next though, uh, My Own Words by Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So I'm going to listen to that one on Audible and we're going to have a discussion about that. So that's an update um, on, on what's happening with me. Yeah, hope you guys are all doing awesome, um, staying healthy, uh, and hopefully uh, you'll hear again from me uh, soon. Take care now.